but it is disproportionate. A stop for a law. <laughs> How dare the Israeli government stop Jews being killed? Well, may Adam Bolton hang his head in shame. A couple of days ago, we saw a UK Sky News interview where the host grilled the UK Israeli ambassador. A lot of you guys had a feeling that you would get into a lot of trouble for it, but Alhamdulillah, it didn't go that far. But Sky's own people in Australia weren't too happy about it. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another bonus episode of Smile to Jannah. Don't worry, I'm starting work tomorrow, so I won't be able to do as many videos. Let's see, let's see. But today I've come across a clip on Sky News Australia. Now we all know Sky News peddles the narrative of the government with regards to fear of minorities and migrants and the likes. But in comparison to the Australian version, it seems like the UK one isn't as bad. There it seems pretty much exactly like Fox News. Oh, 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 disproportionate, oh, oh, settlements. Now bear in mind that the New Zealand terrorist also hailed from Australia, yeah? Maybe he was influenced by Sky News Australia, but who knows? Currently a war is raging in Israel and here is the photo that tells you everything you need to know about the history and the future, the history and the future of this conflict. This failed history professor who looks like he's just woken up wants us to set aside international law and what the human rights organizations have said all for his one picture. Now on the left hand side of the photo looking like something out of Star Wars or Close Encounters. Right, uh, thanks for that grandpa. It all makes sense now. I guess. <laughs> According to this magic picture of his that knows all and sees all, on the left you can see Israel's Iron Dome. Yeah, it is dispelling the missiles that are coming from the right, which is Hamas apparently firing the rockets. Well, I guess that's the end of the argument, then, isn't it? Yes! yes. <laughs> Well, according to your logic, Hamas's missiles aren't landing in Israel, so majority of the casualties that we're seeing are from Gaza. End of story. Which is why the media and the left-wing propagandists love them. So much easier to tug at the heartstrings than to offer up fact, reason and logic. And I'm sure, uh, seeing as you're accusing the left-wing media of using emotion, that you don't use emotion. Do you? Designed to kill Jewish men, women and children as they sleep in their beds and allow its citizens to be blown to smithereens to slit the throats of their Jewish neighbours if synagogues are burnt to the ground. Ah, so I see. It's okay when you do it, yeah? Hypocrisy, thy name is you. And spouted by fools such as the creepy former leader of Pink Floyd, Roger Waters. Uh, creepy. I don't think you are in a position to be throwing that insult around. But there is something that's been bothering me. I mean, I just can't put my finger on it. I've seen you somewhere. I know I have. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Archaeologists have discovered the remains of nine Neanderthals at a prehistoric site near Rome, Italy's culture ministry said on Saturday. Ah uh, yes, the recent discovery, of course, that's what it is. Archaic thinking, leathery skin and incredibly salty, yes. Unless some pressure is brought to bear upon the Israeli government to stop their ferocious, uh, murderous attack upon on Gaza, what rubbish. Uh, putting pressure on Israel to stop killing people is creepy and rubbish apparently, according to this uh, Australian cousin of Boris Johnson looking mug. Once again is leading to disproportionate suffering uh, on the Palestinian side. Oh, 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 disproportionate, oh, oh, settlements. This bag of wrinkles can't even tolerate what his own colleague from across the pond is saying, even though it's pretty much confirming what he said. Israel has more of a technological capacity than Gaza. Of course, it's disproportionate for any objective person. Not for Gramps over here though. But it is disproportionate. What a vile word, disproportionate of Israel to defend its people. How dare the Israeli government stop Jews being killed? Well may Adam Bolton hang his head in shame. Yeah, again, you just admitted that the Iron Dome 
is repelling all of the missiles. But then you're saying Israel has the right to defend it. So against what? The missiles aren't even landing. You can't both have your cake and eat it mate. Or a logic that you'll understand, you can't both have a Zimmer frame and go jogging as well. You know what I'm saying? It's contradictory. There are some disputed Jewish settlements out in Judea and Samaria on land that, by the way, for over three and a half thousand years has been the home of the Jews. Ah, thank you for that lovely speech, Rabbi Ezra. That was uh, very heartfelt and beneficial. We shall see you in next week's ceremony in the synagogue. Uh, shalom. What a worrying news report from Sky News. They really need to make sure that people like this are kept in the old people's homes, yeah? In the mental institutes and not plonked in front of the camera, mate. Yeah, I'm sure there's loads of wonderful people in Australia that you can stick in front of the camera that will not be spreading hate. And I'm sure there's many that are capable of finishing the show without having a stroke in the middle of the episode. Oh, 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 disproportionate. All right, guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.